Hi again. What I did was I colored in most of my background, okay? So you're going to imagine that I've colored in all of the ground with the sand. With the sand, I used some yellow and orange together. With the mountains, I did brown, black, and orange, and I put the texture of the mountains in. See how they look really rocky? I put those lines in here and in the volcano. I colored in my palm tree. This side I did brown, and then this side I did gold. And then I put the leaves in and colored the coconuts. I started to do the plants here. So we're going to pretend that this is all colored in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a brand new piece of paper, a white piece of paper, and I'm going to use a book so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, you may have to use um, Google Images to Google the kind of dinosaur that you'd like. So I'll have the books and some pictures available, but we might have to just Google image because I don't know if we can share the books. Okay, first thing you're going to do is write your name on the back. If your dinosaur walks on four legs, I would hold the paper this way. The Iguanodon walks on two legs, so I'm going to hold the paper this way, and I'm going to start with the head. Always start with the head, okay, because then it makes it easier. Here's his oval head, okay, so I, I'm going to make this an oval. I'm going to make his neck a real light rectangle. His body is an oval. His tail is a triangle. And then the tops of the legs here, the bottom of the leg is a rectangle. And then he has smaller arms that bend. So I'm going to make that now. Okay, that's the basic shapes that I made. If you look at this up close, you can see. Okay, so now I'm going to really go in and I'm going to turn this into a dinosaur. Right now it looks kind of like a robot. Now I'm going to look at what I see in my picture and I'm going to draw from looking. So there's his stomach. And how many eyes do we see? One. So I'm only going to draw one. I only draw what I see. Okay. And that's important. I only see one nostril, so I'm going to draw one nostril. Here's his back. Now the tail, I lifted up a little bit in my picture so you can see the whole tail. Okay. Here's some wrinkles in the back. He has real muscular legs, so I'm going to put the muscles in, and he has big feet. And how many toes do you see? Yes, three. So three toes that are big. Okay, now his arm. I'm going to move his arm over a little bit so I have more room here. Notice how the arms are not sticks. It's not just a stick figure. Okay, so you have to give the arms shape. You have to give the leg shape which means you're going to make two lines for the leg. You're going to make a line here and a line here. You're going to make a line here for the arm and a line here for the arm. He has a huge thumbnail that's sharp. And then I see four fingers here. Let me erase the lines I don't need. And over here, another thumbnail that's sharp. And then four fingers. Okay, and now I'm just going to make this other leg. I can barely even see the other leg, and I just see one toe right here, so I'm just going to draw what I see. And there is my drawing for my Iguanodon, and I will help you with coloring this next week. Nice, right? Okay, have fun.